working with robots is my passion. Whether it's a ground robot or a flying drone, I just enjoy working with robots and robotics and seeing how we can leverage technology. How can we use ground robots to get information that today we can't either safely or economically collect? And so I joined this team and really fell into the SPOT project with Boston Dynamics. And what I've been doing the last few years is working on operational robotics and trying to put technologies in people's hands out in the field that would make their job easier and give them better data and also help them take out, out of harm's way. It has a thermal camera, a high definition pan tilt zoom, PTZ, a acoustic leak detector, and then a gas detector for safety and a LIDAR to help it navigate. That robot is used for inspections. We're walking around and looking at gauges, looking at thermal imaging to get tank levels, allow us to look at transformers and see which ones are nearing end of life before they actually have any indication of failure. We can look at different pumps and see why is this motor running hotter than this motor or why is this pump warmer than this other one right next to it. So one of our big ones here is ORD. It's an operator routine duty, and it's the basic things you do every day, right? Going around site, smell, hear. We take a look at our equipment. Most of the time, it's been pretty qualitative and not quantitative. So we go around, we say, hey, did this sound different? No, cool, check the box. But now with Spot, it's, hey, let's actually go take an acoustic measurement, and then we can vet it. Same thing for temperatures. Hey, is this hot or not? Yeah, yeah, it's about the same, right? But no, let's take a measurement and actually see and trend that data. And same thing with visual inspections. We do leak detections here, real basic, make sure it's not leaking right. But now you can get video and photogrammetry and recordings on it. And it really helps us be more predictive, have better decision-making, reliability, and help drive our decisions here so we know that we're doing the right thing at the right time. By having more reliable data, what I can do is understand sooner what might be going wrong. And so sometimes the changes that we might be looking for are so subtle. But by doing this you know, consistently every time and, and with great precision, you can basically back out your understanding of what's going on months, three months, six months, nine months, and just make better decisions. The more that we learn and the better that we get, you know, the better our decisions are and just the faster we can, we can make changes. Computer vision modeling allows us to take our people and instead of going through all of the data that's collected, we can focus on just the data that's collected that actually provides value. 99% of the time, we're collecting all of this data because we need to know if it's different. But 99% of the time, it's not. It's almost always right, but that one time it is, you need to know. And so if we can use computer vision machine learning to automate the processing of this information in the background, we can then take that task and not require our people to look through all of these images, all of this data, whether in the field or virtually, and instead just alert them that 1% of time that they actually need to know it and give them the right data at that time to make the decision they need. How can we get more information and better quality information with higher regularity to allow us to make better decisions every day? Dreaming about what you can do and how you could operate everything differently and then making that dream a reality.